Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of the National Bible Bee. So this is the church edition and this is the second season. I know you are loving it, seeing these churches battle it out each and every time. And we are still in the preliminaries and so keep praying for your church or your favorite team. I don't know who they are. But this program is an initiative of Seed Spring Network in partnership with the Bible Society of Ghana. And it is powered by Hope Channel Ghana. You can actually find them on YouTube, Hope Channel Ghana, on Facebook, Hope TV Ghana. You can also download the app and then watch an array of programs from health to teen to Bible study and all of that. We are also support by, supported by Olive Health Diagnostics and Imaging Center, Kess Pharmacy, all inside Agboba. And then Afas RN Ventures, they are into transport, food and hotel services. So everything transportation, everything food, everything hospitality, they are your go-to persons. They are also sponsored and supported by Advent Press inside Osu. They would resolve all your printing needs and you can see I'm looking very good, right? Oh, don't hate on me. I am beautifully apparelled by Kweku Outlook. He is inside Kumase. If it's about engagement, weddings, events, official, semi-formal, whatever it is, Kweku Outlook will sort you out. I'll give you his number later and then you can contact him. But today is going to be another interesting edition. Competing in this context are two churches. To my left is the Church of Pentecost, and to my right is the Salvation Army, Ghana Territory. <laughs> so I ask them to introduce themselves to us, beginning with Pentecost. I am Emmanuel Boatin, and with me is Charlotte Fusia. Right. <laughs> okay. I am Kwesi Ahin and my co-contestant is Anthony M.P. All right, Anthony M.P. <laughs> Anthony, I hear your friends calling you Professor. <laughs> is there something behind it? <laughs> no, please, because of my glasses. Because of the glasses? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> then you can also call me Professor. <laughs> All right, but this is the first round. And contestants are going to go through this. It is called My Choice. These teams have chosen different books. The Salvation Army. Which book did you choose? The Book of Daniel. The Book of Daniel. Church of Pentecost. The Book of Jeremiah. The Book of Jeremiah. And so these are the books in which the uh, questions are going to come from. Now remember, because they chose different books, this time for a bonus, they end for themselves two points. But then they would have 10 seconds to answer a major question and 3 seconds if it goes as a bonus. There will be 5 sets of questions apiece to all teams and I wish them well. Beginning with the Salvation Army, your major question. Kindly indicate if this is a true or a false statement. You only have one attempt, and it cannot go for a bonus, obviously. This is the statement. Whoever reads this writing and shows me its interpretation shall be clothed with purple and have a chain of silver about his neck and shall be the third ruler in the kingdom. Is this a true or a false statement? False. He's right. He's right. But how is it supposed to be? Uh, it's supposed to be clothed in a purple cloth with a golden, a gold chain around his neck. And he shall be the third ruler. All right. So you may want to speak up, Kwesi. Viewers would want to hear you, so speak up. So he's, so he's supposed to be clothed in purple mm -hmm. with a gold chain. Mm -hmm. All right. So, so Kwesi came prepared. Basically came prepared. All right. All right. So that is correct for three points. 
the Church of Pentecost, your question indicates if this is a true or a false statement. This is the statement. The Chaldeans did not take only the silver items from the house of the Lord. True or false? True. He's right, it is true. It's true. Because they took items of gold, silver, bronze, and basins, in fact, etc. They took a lot of things. Now you need to help complete these statements, okay? And I'll need three major indications from you. Alright? This is not spoken word, so I'm not looking for exactness, but I need these three indicators. This is your statement, the Salvation Army. Complete this statement. It has seemed mm, to me to show the mm, and wonders that the mm, has wrought towards me. Feeling mm, according to Daniel chapter 4, verse 2. The Church of Pentecost, if it came to you as a bonus, do you have a response? Okay. So these words are good signs and most high God. These were what I was looking for. Your major question. The Church of Pentecost, your major question. You also have to complete this statement for me. And this statement with, with inference from Jeremiah chapter 48 verse 9 this is the statement give wings to mm, for she would fly away her cities shall become a mm, with no mm, in them what three words are missing in here Okay, the Salvation Army Church. If it came to you as a bonus, what would your response be? No. Okay, the prof is shaking his head. <laughs> right. So the words I was looking for were Moab, desolation, and inhabitants. Those were the words I was looking for. The Salvation Army Church, your question. Listen with rapt attention. Where can this statement be found? Where can this statement be found? This is the statement. There is not a man on earth who can meet the king's demand, for no great and powerful king has asked such a thing of any magician or enchanter or Chaldean. Where can this be found? Daniel chapter 3, um, verse 12. Start your final key. For bonus. Daniel chapter 3, verse 1. Key. Do you do lottery gambling? <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind me. Eh? Don't mind me. So, so it's Daniel chapter 2. Then in chapter 2, this is when Nebuchadnezzar had a dream. Mm -hmm. Acting his sorceress and those people who interpret and they're like, tell us, tell us the dream and we'll tell you its interpretation. He says, no, tell me the dream and its interpretation. They're like, what you're asking is out of the world. Mm -hmm. No one has ever asked this before. This is what shows God is great, okay, when he revealed that to Daniel. So the Church of Pentecost, your major question. I would need three indications from you, so pay close attention. Name the three cities who were to face judgment according to Jeremiah chapter 48, verse 21. Nebo, Kiriashim, Nebo, 
bonus okay so I, I was wondering maybe he was reading from the e SV. I'm talking about the Emmanuel Standard Version. <laughs> <laughs> so these cities are Holon, Jaza, and Mepha'af. These were the cities that were mentioned in the... The Salvation Army, this is your question. This is your question. And here, I would need you to be as precise as possible. Who was the first to use the word fear in Daniel chapter 1? Daniel. Okay. For bonus. Nebuchadnezzar. <laughs> <laughs> Nebuchadnezzar was uh, by this time relaxing in his chambers. Okay. <laughs> so the first person is someone interestingly called Ashpenaz, the chief Enoch. The chief Enoch. Okay, he's the first person who used that word. Okay, so now your major question, the Church of Pentecost. Listen, according to Jeremiah chapter 50 verse 17, what does the king of Assyria and Babylon do to Israel? Who are described as sheep? What does the king of Assyria and Babylon do to Israel? They kill their shepherds. Your bonus. So we are talking about two kings: king of Assyria, king of Babylon. They didn't kill their shepherds, but what they did was that to devour them, that is the king of Assyria, and to gnaw their bones, that is the king of Babylon. You may want to buckle up because these are the final round of questions for this round, okay? <laughs> Salvation Army. What was the measurement of the image that was set up in the plain of Dura. Seven point five feet. Is that your final answer? Bonus. Yes. Um, Ninety cubits high. <laughs> <laughs> I see, I'm surprised, 7.5 feet. Uh, even Go Goliath was taller than that <laughs> image. Because this was supposed to be a ceremonial something. It was rather 60 cubits height and in breadth 60 cubits. It was huge. Gangantuan. <laughs> Your final question, Church of Pentecost. <laughs> Listen, you need to identify, okay, who is mentioned to have dispossessed God, according to Jeremiah 49. Babylon. Is that your final answer? Hezekiah. Okay, two attempts. But the answer is male com. Male com. This brings us to the end of the first round. And this is the National Bible B. Season 2, Church Edition, an initiative of Sea Spring Network in partnership with the Bible Society of Ghana, powered by Hope Channel Ghana. We have Olive Health Diagnostics and Imaging Center and Cares Pharmacy inside Agbogba supporting, and then Nafas RN Ventures, who is also supporting, and Advent Press, beautifully apparelled by Kweku Outlook inside Kumase. I believe the scores are in. And we would receive the scores right after this break.
Hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Safwa. Hey, Mama T. Hey, boss. Yeah, it's been a long while. Yes, yes, yes. Everything yes, fine. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah but what are you doing? Calm down, calm down. Uh, <laughs> but what are you doing here? They can't check my teeth. Oh. In fact, I'm also going to do the same. So you too. Probably, probably you, you do that after me. <laughs> you recommended a place for me. <laughs> <laughs> Walking into only dentistry, the excitement was unmatched. So you can see me be me with smiles because like Wombo and Kasa, they have serene environment and highly qualified health professionals with very good health ethics. So whether it is scaling and polishing, that was what I actually were there to do. It is fillings, extractions, tooth replacement, braces, teeth whitening, and many more. Their comprehensive range of dental services caters for all your oral health needs. And oh yes, I. I love the part that she was teaching me how we normally brush our teeth and how we're supposed to be done guys it was a match and you see they will they have a projection of how your teeth looks like and you know whether you are doing it well you see everything in there all of these are at a very affordable price why wait come and treat yourself to the smells you truly deserve it is always olive for you for organic cosmetic products that gives your body the royal treatment for delicious and healthy meals at affordable rates for all events for safety comfort and convenience for that corporate religious or fun trip or delivery of that precious cargo all at affordable rates kindly contact nafas r and ventures on 246 345 050 or 0504-484-974. Locate us at North Ridgefield John Casabubu Road opposite Coconut Grove Hotel. Email us at nafasnv at gmail.com. Follow us on Facebook, Nafas RN Ventures. Welcome to Olive Health Diagnostics and Imaging Center, your one-stop solution for all your medical diagnostic needs. Located in the bustling city of Accra, on ECOWAS Road, Agbogba, off the Ritz Junction, Agbogba Stretch. Come along, let me show you around. Welcome back from the break. This is the National Bible Bee Season 2 Church Edition. Competing here is the Salvation Army Church, Ghana Territory, and then the Church of Pentecost. This is how the score sheet looks like. And this is the second time in the competition that we are having such a result. So at the end of the first round, there is a tie of three points apiece to all churches. Let's give them a round of applause. So welcome to the second round, what we call the fastest finger fest. I want to ask the teams, Church of Pentecost, do you want to use a lifeline? We would. You would? <laughs> yes. Okay, so who is leaving and who is coming? Okay, so Charlotte is leaving. Alfreda, you are welcome. Thank you. Okay, what's the meaning of your name? Good counselor. Good counselor. Yes. I hope you are going to give some good <laughs> counsel to your mate, okay? All right, so this is round two, fastest finger first. This is your first riddle. Who am I? Who am I? And this is a three-clued riddle. So listen with rapt attention. Who am I? I had an interesting voyage 
free of charge and praised the Lord. I ran from an appointed purpose. After fulfilling my commission, I became confused, humiliated, and unable to understand the purpose. Who am I? Who am I? You'd have 10 seconds to reason in. I had an interesting voyage, free of charge and praise the Lord. I ran from an appointed purpose. The bell is gone. Okay. So salvation, I mean, think through. The bell is gone. Whatever you say, even if you are wrong, you don't lose a point. If you are right, you don't gain a point. Who do you think you are talking about? You have no idea. Church of Pentecost, who do you think you are talking about? You have no idea. I think I'll go with. You would go with Jesus because of the humiliation. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's give him a round of applause. You, you know, I, I, Emmanuel is playing smart. You, you, you know this song that says Jesus is the answer, <laughs> so that he's the answer to every question. But in this case, no, friends. I'm just trying to warm you up for the next four riddles because you see. This one was a free chop for you. Really? Who had a voyage, an interesting vo voyage, as in vo voyage, sea, voyage, Jonah. running from an appointment. Don't, don't tell me, Jonah, you are late. <laughs> you are late. Okay, and after fulfilling his commission, he became confused. He, he was actually worried that, I mean, oh, friends, please, don't mess with the rest of the four riddles, okay? Be bold, be brave, think okay and give the answers don't be afraid of the bell what's that answer, okay it's jonah <laughs> it's jonah it's jonah you see so please next riddle don't say ouch or anything say it press the bell and say it okay next riddle next riddle now that you are on fire who am i who am I? I died and came back to life. I ceased helping and was summoned back to continue. One who witnessed a similar scenario made my restoration possible. I used my hands in my craft. Who in God's name am I? I died and came back to life. I ceased helping and was summoned back to continue. One who witnessed a similar scenario made my restoration possible. I used my hands. The bell is gone. But do you still want to try in the safe period? You have no idea. Lazarus. Lazarus is one of four who came back to life in the new testament but it's not him <laughs> do you know Dorcas? do you know Dorcas? that's what someone is saying in the crowd tabita kum Dorcas. 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 all right so another wow. riddle gone so three more riddles to go your next riddle who am i who Am I? And this is a three clued riddle. So you only receive three clues. If you get it even at the last clue, you still get three points. So pay attention. This one, if you don't get it, I'll report you to your pastor. <laughs> Who am I? I built an altar and offered sacrifice on it. The Lord sent fire to consume my Elijah. Okay, so the Salvation Army Church. Elijah. The Lord sent fire to consume my sacrifice. I refused to offer a thing that cost me nothing. David. The Church of Pentecost is David! <laughs> So indeed, I believe it was the third clue that gave it out, yeah. right? 
Why do you think is the third clue? I refuse to offer a thing that costs me nothing. Because Why? In the Bible, mm -hmm. I think he, someone wanted to give it to him for free, but he was like, he can't take anything that would not cost him. You are Alfreda. Yes. Come and give me high five. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. This is good. This is good. And, and friends, that, that, And here, the, the point is that I, I love the fact that David said, hey, if I have to sacrifice to the Lord, I will not receive a gift and give it to the Lord. I, I will not give a, an offering that costs me nothing. And that is beautiful. You find this in First Corinth, uh, Chronicles chapter 21, 18 to 26. Read that part also, okay, Chronicles. Wow. Re read it. You're always reading <laughs> the Gospels. Your fourth riddle, who am I? And so because you got it at the third clue, you get three points okay who am i i showed loyalty to my king i showed integrity to my god i was sabotaged and earmarked for death but the reward for loyalty made the tables turn against my adversary my place was at the gate. Who? Yes, Alfreda? Mordecai. It is Mordecai. <laughs> Alfreda, which part of the clue did you get the answer? The gate part. <laughs> the gate part. Okay, so it's fine, but you only get one point, okay? Mm -hmm. But be, be, be quick, it is free advice. Be quick, okay, in giving your answers. This Mordecai. This is the final riddle in this round. It is also a four clued riddle, and I need you to ident identify who this is. Who am I? Who am I? I was put in prison till the day of my death. I rebelled against a foreign monarch. He put out my eyes and killed my children before me. I was the last of them who held the same position and refused to heed to the Lord's servant. Who am I? Yes. Zedekiah. It is Zedekiah. It is Zedekiah. Church of Pentecost, you are doing well, but you always give the answer late. You got it at the fourth clue, and so you have two points to yourself. This brings us to the end of the second <laughs> round. <laughs>
and I have the score. At the end of the second round, this is how the score sheets look like. Church of Pentecosts was able to pull for themselves six beautiful points. And Salvation Army Church was also able to pull for themselves negative one point. So, this next round is the most interesting one for me because this is where I get to relax, <laughs> where they do all the hard work. Puzzle time it is. So there are 20 words scattered on a crossword chart. Contestants would have to identify these words. For every word they are able to identify, earns them three points. It means for all 20, that's a 60 good point. As always, I give them some clues. They would have 210 seconds within which to identify these words. At the sound of the bell, they would have three seconds to approach the chat and then they would resolve them. So, Church of Pentecosts, would you want to use a lifeline for this third round? We are good. Right. You are good, right? <laughs> the Salvation Army Church, yes. do you want to use a lifeline? Yes. So, who is leaving us? Yeah, I'm leaving in Nana Owusu. Nana Owusu. Let's give Nana Owusu a round of applause. Nana, you are welcome. Thank you. I understand you are the savior of the Salvation Army. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So there are, I mean, people rooting for you, obviously. And so if you hear the bell, you may want to go and then you turn it around and then you begin to resolve them. All right? Okay. Your time starts now. Make sure you cross from the first letter to the last letter. Please only keep your eyes on your chart, okay? You have used exactly one minute. 180 seconds more to go. You have used exactly half of your time, so you should be on your next 10 weights. Thirty seconds to go. All right, all right, all right. So you had ninja.
Shepherd. Is that it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, no, no. That one it is Shepherd. Shepherd. That's it, right? Check if there's something. Yeah, once I have crossed it, it means sure. So this makes 13. 3 times 13 is 26. Uh, 39. 39. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Okay, so it's what? 39. 39. I, I don't do maths. <laughs> 39, right? Yes. Scorers, check for me if we have a record for this season. <laughs> and then Joseph. Why can't I find the one more than boss? <laughs> This would be 13, so it's the same as, wow, the high. Okay, so 13. I think I'm getting a light wow. shock. After they microscopically tried to identify these words, I, I don't know, but we seem to have a record, and this is coming too early in the competition. This is prelims and that we are having this record, I think it is commendable. So, I'm not sure if the glasses uh, did any magic, but <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I don't know if, if it's the glasses. I entreat other contestants to also wear glasses, okay? So, at the end of this round, both teams were able to identify 13 out of the 20. That gives them 39 points each. <laughs> And you see, I was telling you about the, the wild card, right? Because these scores really matter, okay? So it doesn't matter what really happens here today, but then because there's a wild card, even if you are winning, I tell you, winning style, but when you are also losing, lose with grace, okay? <laughs> All right, so this is the result. We will move on straight on to the fourth round. But I would ask again, the Child of Pentecost, do you want to use a lifeline? No. No, you wouldn't? I, okay. The Salvation Army Church, would you want to use a lifeline? All right. So who is leaving? Who is joining? Right. So a round of applause to Professor as we welcome Sir Wash to the stand. Welcome to Olive Health Diagnostics and Imaging Center, your one-stop solution for all your medical diagnostic needs. Located in the bustling city of Accra, on ECOWAS Road, Agbogba, off the Ritz Junction, Agbogba Stretch. Come along, let me show you around. Welcome back from that break, and this is the National Bible B Season 2 Church Edition. Competing here, the Church of Pentecost, and then the Salvation Army Church, Ghana Territory. 
This is the fourth round which finishes the contest and I hope they brace themselves. This is what we call their spoken word. And there are four texts that are going to be presented. If you're able to identify the text, talking about the book, chapter and verses, they win for themselves two points. And then for a good, near perfect or perfect recital, it also ends them some point. Contestants, are you ready? Are yeah. you ready? Yes. Yeah. Remember, if you feel that you have the answer, like we did in the second round, you still press your bell. I want to be sure your bells are not under demonic attack. So please test them. All right. So, you are welcome. I'm not welcoming you, I'm welcoming the glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I now see National Bible B, the glasses are able to work some miracles for you. <laughs> but introduce yourself to us. Che Angela. Che. Che. Che Angela. Yes, che. Okay. Che Angela. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. So Angela, you're welcome. This is the fourth round. Right. So this is your first spoken word text. You will call him the psalmist. But in his writing, he usually refers to the patriots. Which spoken word text? Yes, Alfreda. Psalm 105, verse 7 to 12. She is right. So, she earned herself two points. Let's see if she can <laughs> add six more points. Okay. Alfreda, that's your camera. <laughs> Recite. <laughs> it is getting interesting in the house. I told Alfreda, I'll report you to your pastor. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So they only are comfortable with the two points. So we will move on. Next spoken word text. <laughs> it seems as if sometimes Christians are confused, as if we don't know what is right and wrong. But which writer in the old Testament declares clearly that indeed if you want to do good, God has pointed us to all goodness. So this text is Micah chapter 6 from verse 6 through eight and I'll only give you the eighth verse which was what was supposed to give itself out he has told you oh man what is good and what does the Lord require of you but to do justice and to love kindness and to walk humbly before your God two more to go and then we are done <laughs> it is believed that sometimes the feeling we get as believers is that the Lord has left us. Maybe you can relate. But which text confirms the fact that God is ready to give us all the power and strength that we need to spare on in our Christian journey? Or further. Second Timothy chapter one, verse three to seven. You want to try? Okay. 
So, the verse that was supposed to give it out was the 29th verse of the 40th chapter of Isaiah. He gives power to the faint, and to him who has no might, he increases strength. The final <laughs> spoken word test. You may want to buckle up, but then she loses a point for pressing without having a good answer. Now, for identification, you get two points. For good recital, you get six points, making eight in all. So listen with rapt attention. <laughs> It is said in our day that show me your friends mm -hmm. and I'll show you your character. Which texts come to mind? The text that was supposed to give it, actually the verse, is the verse 33 of chapter 15 of first Corinthians mm -hmm. it reads thus do not be deceived bad company ruins good character this brings us to the end of the contest between the church of Pentecost and the Salvation Army Church So, my scores are in. And at the end of the fourth round, and this is the score for round four only, the Church of Pentecost were able to pull for themselves one point. And Salvation Army was also able to maintain their status quo with a nail. So, at the end of this competition, this is how the score sheet looks like, but not before recognizing our supporters. This program is an initiative of Sea Spring Network in partnership with the Bible Society of Ghana, powered by Hope Channel Ghana. Olive Health Diagnostics and Imaging Center, Cares Pharmacy are supporting together with Nafas RN Ventures. And then Advent Press inside Osu and beautifully clothed by Kweku Outlook inside of Kumase. At the end of this context, the Salvation Army Church pulled for themselves all together 41 points. Now the church, who have also secured their place in the quarterfinals, is the Church of Pentecost with 49 points. <laughs> so this brings us to the end of the contest. But remember, I was talking about the wild card, right? Indeed. Although Salvation Army seem to have lost in this context, they actually lost with grace. And it's possible that they would be seen again somehow, somewhere in this competition. So brace yourself up, continue keeping your church or your team in prayer. And I'm sure in the end, we would all learn something from this context. My name is Chaplain Elon Edison. This is the National Bible Bee Season 2 Church Edition. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs>